Hey guys, what's up everybody? This is Ravindra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can speed up your YouTube video editing. When you play around with the music or when you have a voiceover, how you can speed up things real quick. It takes a really long time for you to find the right music and then mix and match the music as per the video clips. If you have the background music and if you have voiceover, then you'll have to adjust the background music as and when there is voice or whenever there is a voiceover being played, the background music has to adjust automatically. So back in 2017, 18 and 19, when I used to do that, it was a tedious task and it used to take almost half a day for me to edit almost a 10 minute video clip. And it was never accurate and it was ha always hard for me to make those minor adjustments at the end. And it used to take unnecessarily long time. But luckily, I guess back in 2019 or so, Premiere Pro made this change where it was just a click of a button and that will really speed up your way of editing videos. So I'll show you how exactly this can be done and how you can save a ton of your time, in, especially in making voiceovers. So let's dive into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how exactly this can be done and you can save a ton of your time and instead you can make use of this time in editing another video. So before I dive in, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit on that bell icon to get all the latest updates. I'll be sharing many more videos of this kind. Open Premiere Pro. Here is the video that I have recorded which has voice along with it. And in the bottom, the one that you see in green is the music. I'll be using the music as a background music. Usually it will be the video along with the voice or it's going to be a voiceover. Now I'll select the voiceover and then select the dialog box. Depending on your voice quality, you need to select one of those presets. I'm selecting the male voice and making the necessary adjustments. I can increase or decrease the decibel count and reduce all kind of background noise and hissing sounds. And also increase the clarity if needed. I would like to bring down the overall decibel count so that the audio quality is not too different than what you actually hear. So I'm doing this adjustment to all the parts of music. Usually you do this at the end of editing. So now I'll be selecting the music which is the background music and then the preset will be smooth vocal decking. You can select other options too but here for this I'll be using smooth vocal decking. Well it's a pain to adjust each and every audio clip and make the necessary adjustments by selecting the keyframe and marking each and everything in the timeline and then moving around. So instead, all of these activity will be generated automatically by clicking on the generate keyframe. This will drastically save your time, especially while editing the audio part of it. And if you have a voiceover, this is the best option that you can think of. So you don't have to really worry about adjusting the volume as per the voiceover. So with this feature, you don't have to really worry about adjusting the background music as per the voiceover and it will be taken care automatically. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have learned something today go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to my youtube channel and hit on the bell icon i'll be sharing many more videos of this kind in the coming days thanks for watching cheers